Welcome everyone to another Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today we are going to review the Star Wars Black Series 2016 release of Django Fett. Django Fett, now of course in canon, the father of Boba Fett, it is one of the better things to come out of the prequels. He was a really cool character in the movies, which is was the Attack of the Clones, the poorest of the movies in saying that. But at the end of the day, I really enjoyed him and the actor that played him. The design is really cool, has to be said. I really enjoyed it. I, I, my thing with me is I like watching the Mandalorians and stuff in the Star Wars in Star Wars movies. I can't wait for the Mandalorian TV, TV series. But um, yeah, so it'll be nice to add Django to his daddy, Boba Fett, who I got a couple of weeks ago as well. Both of these, well, I got him from Norse King Jedi. Brandon Munden got your name right this time didn't they so if you want follow me over here and I'll review this guy and we'll get right on it so here we are with Django Fett let's get a look at this guy up close and personal now the first thing I will say is yes the helmet is removable Pop, and the real dude's likeness under there is absolutely brilliant um, Probably the best looking, one of the best looking faces I've seen in this line. It really is, is the spit off the guy. Um, so yeah, but no one wants to see him. So, helmet back on. So accessories wise, he comes with a jetpack, which is on and it's staying on. Pops off like that, no problem. But you're not you when you're hungry, as they say. He's not Django Fett when he doesn't have his uh, jetpacks. He also comes with two really cool blasters. Again, they fit his hands no problem at all. I've tested this already. And it's not working for me now. <laughs> Typical when you go to do a video that these things happen. But yeah, so. So, because we're here, let's do articulation. With the helmet on, he looks all the way around looks down a small bit you could probably get more range of movement with the helmet off but who wants the helmet off anyway he can look up arms and go full 360 i like that the shoulder pads are actually sculpted onto the arms and not these annoying flappy things as you usually get arms are single jointed yeah single jointed and swivel at the elbow as well which is a different joint than i'm used to so similar to a bicep swivel i suppose and that's the same with both sides the arm will only go out a little bit, so this far, and then, so you can get some really funky dance moves out of this guy. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the, that's the arms, the legs don't go out that far. They do go up pretty high though. So Conor McGregor ninja kicks are in. He does have single jointed knees, and he does have feet that can move around a whole lot. Rocker feet that can go up and down. This guy would really benefit, I think, from um, a flight stand, which is something I'd probably get in the end because you can get some really dramatic pauses out of him. As you can see, <laughs> so yeah, I think he's a lot more um, movable than he's he's a uh, he's a youngster, Boba Fett. Now, an interesting thing about the paint here, maybe you guys can tell me. I haven't bought Django Fett before. So maybe you can tell me, there seems to be a wash of some sort on this. All along here and a weathered look. And up along here as well, as if you get closer. You see the kind of black wash on it? It's really, really nice. I'm not sure did someone do this or is this stock on the figure? Because well, I don't want to insult anyone if someone did do it. It looks really cool in places and then it looks really off in other parts like this part looks really clean and this part then looks really well done well weathered so it's spotty it's inconsistent now if i'm insulting someone i do apologize i'm just asking the question maybe someone in the black series fandom out there will be able to tell me but either way it doesn't take anything away from this figure He's probably one of my favourites so far in the line after 
Dart Revan, who is my ultimate favourite figure in the line. But Django is really, really cool. I'm glad to have him. He's the best, one of the best parts. One of the best parts of the prequels for me, easily. So um, that is the beast. That is Django Fett. Now I'm just gonna get him standing. If you will stand, you shit bag. And we'll do some comparison shots. So here he is with Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Here he is with 1000 Ties Synthetic Human. Here he is with Power Rangers Lightning Collection Lord Zed. Here he is with DC Universe Joker. Ew. And finally here he is with Marvel Legends Forge. Who I have already reviewed. <clears throat> so that's been Star Wars Black Series Django Fett. If you like this review, please get in touch with me and like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell to stay subscribed. And stay tuned because there's plenty more videos to come every day, sometimes two a day, sometimes one a day. But uh, yeah, stay subscribed and thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed so far and watches all my videos. Thank you.